Hi guys, this is my final video for August uh, texture videos series. There's gonna be more, <laughs> but this small mini series I've done here is uh, this is the final one. I'm Camilla and I'm a watercolorist from Denmark, if you didn't know. And in this final video, I'm gonna show you how to use a plastic card like this uh, to create texture in watercolor. This is super effective and this is going to be a super short video just showing you three techniques to uh, uh, show you which angles to use on the, the plastic card. And if you are interested in more, I have more videos on uh, this subject and you can also find a link below the video for my class devoted to this technique. So uh, check that out if you want to get the uh, get deep diving in uh, in uh, one of my absolutely favorite techniques plastic card creating texture in watercolor yeah yeah that is <laughs> i'll see you in there so there's a lot of different ways to use a plastic card like this you can use it on the flat side like this use the edge like the, the corner here um, to do uh, round rocks or something like that or you can use the edge here and uh, create lines where the the paint can fall into. So I'm just going to show you real quick the three different types. Um, and I'm just going to start out with putting down a wash. So uh, <laughs> we have something to work with. It's a beautiful, beautiful Prussian blue. Uh, I love this color. I am working in a sketchbook and it's not cotton and uh, it might work, uh, this technique might work differently on your paper. So experiment with some scraps and see how it works. Make sure you are working with a wet wash but not too wet. So that's why I'm not showing you one technique at a time. I'm just going to put down my washes first. So I'm going to let them dry a little bit um, before doing the scraping techniques. There you go. Now you have three beautiful washes and a weird thing going on with the last one. Okay, I'm using the flat side here. Put put it down to the paper and just scrape real good. You can see how it creates a back run there. This is beautiful for trees, like tree trunks, birch trees like that. Uh, if you want to avoid that back run, just use a table uh, cloth or something like that. Here I'm using the rounded corner and you can see how it didn't create that much of an, of an effect and that's because it's too wet. So I'm just going to continue with the next one and let us come back to that one a little bit later. I'm just using the edge here, the very thin edge here, uh, and just pushing down and creating lines in the paint here and you can see how it creates these dark lines and that's because the paint goes directly into that pit and that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna show you this one again and here you can see how we can scrape these shapes now. Perfect for rocks and stuff like that. And this is the three techniques I wanted to show you. If you want to see them in action check out my class below on creating texture with a plastic card. There's also links for my other texture classes as well and uh, check out my other YouTube videos on uh, on texture creating as well. I hope you learned a new tip and uh, I'll see you in the next video.